Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. And this one's going to be on Skinned Deep. And this is from Severn Films, and it's directed by Gabe Bartolos. And this movie uh, came out in 2003, and um, this is, like I said, from Severn. It's a new release from Severn, and uh, this is a first time watch for me. Uh, it's about this girl who kind of gets kidnapped by this really kind of circus freak kind of family but like beyond circus freak kind of family and uh, she's trying to get out but there's this guy named Brain <laughs> who kind of like convinces Granny who's like in charge of all of them um, to keep her for himself and he'll you know train her and you know kind of keep her out of trouble and there's Brain, there's Plates, which is played by Warwick Davis, and he's fantastic in this movie. I gotta say, it's, it's such a, uh, a weird part, and it's so much fun to see him in this. And there's another one called The Certain General, which is right here on the cover. And um, like I said, they're like this like weird freakish family, and uh, they're keeping her there. And basically, anybody who comes around their territory and that, they, you know, they they kill they don't really go into the like you know showing the eating part too much but that's what they do eat they do eat people you know they come on across their establishment and um this movie is fucking crazy like i had to look it up and see where was this being shot because it has this australian vibe to it now if you know what i mean by that uh if i think I haven't, uh, first of all, I haven't seen an Australian film that I haven't liked, okay? Um, it, it is fantastic, I just don't know what it is. I'm sure there's probably one out there that I don't, but so far I haven't seen a bad one. Like, I think they're fantastic, I love them. Um, and this has that feel to it, you know, it has kind of like a um, body melt feel to it. It, it. This movie's like a mixture of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 and The Hills Have Eyes and uh, nothing but trouble, you know, with John Candy and Chevy Chase and uh, Demi Moore and all of them, and then Dan Aykroyd. Like, um, it's like a mixture of that with, uh, like I said, Body Melt um, and Nightbreed even, you know? It, it's just so bizarre and, and off the charts fucking strange. I absolutely love this movie first time watch I had such a blast watching this it was fun it, it's it's like a high budgeted B movie you know like a like a like a, it looks like an indie film you know in, in a way and it was just like I was blown away I thought the, the special effects were really cool it was made like I said 2003 and then but like you could tell they were doing like some of the like uh, green screen-ish and uh, you know like CGI blood here and there, but it's not bad CGI blood. Like like I said, Warwick Davis plays this guy named Plates, and he throws plates at people like with like perfection, you know, like precision, you know, throwing. And there's like times where they're driving on the truck. There was a time I should say on the truck, and they're going up against this other truck and. He's throwing plates at them, and he's like, looking them up and whizzing them down, like flicking them up and whizzing them down. And for a split second, you could see that it wasn't real, you know, like it was, it was CGI. But the rest of them looked really good. The practical effects were, you know, over the top. A lot of fun, very cool, unexpected. Um, and and it, just because you're a kid doesn't mean anything in this movie. Uh, anything could happen. It was just so much fun and uh like was, oh, I, I just uh, i didn't look at my phone at all i just watched the movie and i i loved it i loved it um it looked really nice too it's scanned uh uncut in 2k from the original negative for the first time ever so this is the worldwide worldwide premiere of the unrated version it's the texas chance on massacre meets brain damage I could definitely see brain damage. I, I would think in more Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, I don't, that's just how my mind sees it, is like more of like 
part two. But um, Gabe Bartalos was like the special effects guy, like they did Leprechaun, and that's how he knows Warwick Davis, their buddies and everything. So he came in to do this, and he also uh, did St. Bernard, which is also out from Severn, and I've never watched it. Now, this makes me want to watch it. I've heard mixed things about that, but this is just so weird. Like, I, I, it's right up my alley. Like, this kind of stuff is right up my alley. Like, brain damage is fucking weird. I like the brain damage a lot. You know, basket case, all that kind of stuff. Like, they're so weird. I, I just really enjoy them. And this is great, especially when there's a scene where they're on, they have the girl in a wedding dress strapped to the, the front of a, of a truck and then they have Surgeon General on the back of the truck like and they're gonna like kind of they're not really playing chicken with this car the other car truck thinks they are but really they're gonna you know they want to take them down and then Warwick Davis is on the top and he's like screaming and shouting and like he's ready to go and yeah come on come on you know and he always wants to like, go ahead touch it touch the body touch touch him uh, it, it, it's it's so strange, but he's like so intelligent too with like what he says. Uh, great great dialogue from him. Surgeon General doesn't talk. He's main. He's like pretty much like the villain of the movie because Brain or his real name is Brian. Um, he's actually like a likable guy. You know, he he doesn't want to live there, but he has to live there. He he's not gonna make it out in the real world and. I, I'll show you on the back, and you can understand why you won't. But this movie, man, it was so much fun. I, I recommend this movie. If you haven't seen this and you're up for some zany shit, you know, if you're into, like like I said, basket case, uh, brain damage, uh, body melt, all that kind of weird shit, you'll love this. I, I think you'll love it. I, I thought this was great. I would watch this again in a heartbeat. I had such a good time with it. Warwick Davis was so good in this. Like, so much fun. Like, every time he was on screen, he was just great. Everybody did good. There was a little bit of weird, like, off dialogue with, um, with the granny, and then, I mean, it was mostly with her. But, like, I guess that's, that's not the, the disc or anything. That's, like, how the movie is. But, uh, it looked good, it sounded good, and uh, the captions, I watched with captions on the captions all were, were fine. Um, and on here they have special features it's a uh, called deep cuts and it's a look back with writer producer director Gabe Bartolos actors Jason Dubray I don't know if I say that right uh, and Carolyn Brandt and weapons machinist Jake Lee and Carolyn Brandt played uh, Tina in this and she was only 17 years old and now it's like an interview with her now and they're talking about it and then of course Gabe the writer director producer and all that um, He's answering like people's questions like about things in the movie, which is really cool. It's a, it's a fun 15 minute interview with a couple of people. It's really cool. Audio commentary with cast and crew, archival making a feature written trailer. Uh, so there's a couple things on here, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Skinned deep, and I've seen this cover before, like VHS and that, and I, I think I saw VHS. Is it VHS or DVD? But uh, I. I didn't know what it was about or anything, and I never got it. So, you know, and I thought this is a cool cover. I don't even know what this one was about. I'm glad I got to see it. Like uh, this, this is one that I, I'm happy to have in my collection. To be honest, like this was so much fun. And the ending was it wasn't perfect or anything. It was very strange. I would honestly love to see a prequel to this. Honestly because then I could see a little bit more of the background and how things come to be with the with this family, you know, that. and it's just such a strange, weird ending. Um, it wasn't great, it wasn't perfect. It was neat, you know, but like, a, I don't know, I think the rest of the movie was a lot better than the ending, but the ending wasn't bad. I don't know, it was just kind of like, okay, you know, but yeah, I really... It was, it's so fucking weird. It's just so fucking weird. I, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, <laughs> um, it. It really is unique. It's a unique movie, and uh, a lot of people are gonna like this. I, I, I think a lot of people are gonna dislike it too, to be honest. But I mean, again, there's a select few of people, a select group of people that will really dig this. And if you haven't seen it, please check it out. It's so good. 
Um, and again, it looks good. It's 98 minutes long. Um, and then the cover looks like that. The back has that. That's Brain. That's all I'm saying. That's Brain. There's Warwick Davis with his plates and, you know, other shit. Oh, God, it's so crazy. And then the Blu-ray is right there. And the Blu-ray is region A, B, and C, so, you know, you can watch it pretty much any, anywhere. Um, like I said, the practical effects are good in this. It's fun. Likeable characters. Um, even the people that are supposed to be villains are really cool. Like, he's cool. Like, he's a great character. His knife is awesome. Great ki kills. The, like I said, with the part where they're driving down the trucks, and he's on the back, and work days, and, I, and they're going up against the, the, this whole truck of guys fantastic part it's like one of my favorite parts of the movie so weird and bizarre just right up your alley if you've seen this before let me know and uh you know i'd like to see what you think about it if you haven't seen it and you plan on watching it let me know as well i'll put a link below where you can go and purchase this if you want i'll put a trailer below but like i always say proceed with caution but please give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and follow me on any of the social media links in the description box below well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.